Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the new LTXV 0.9.8 model and its distilled variants which offer improved to prompt understanding and detailed generation. With this model, you can generate videos up to 1 minute long at 24 frames per second. There is also a new upscaling model and to add more details, there is a new IC LoRa detailer. LTX has released three models, one for upscaling, one LoRa to add details and another model that supports both image to video and text to video generation. The main model comes in different versions. 13B, FP16 and FP8 and a smaller 2B version for systems with very low VRAM also available in FP16 and FP8. You can choose the version that best fits your system's VRAM and save it into your model checkout folder. For upscaling, download the LTXV special upscale 0.98 model and place it in your Comfy UI's upscale folder. For the LoRa, download the LTXV 0.98 IC LoRa detailer Comfy UI version and save it into your Comfy UI's LoRa folder. So here is the workflow I have created. You can download it from aistudynow.com. The site requires one-time email verification and once that's done, you will be able to download the files instantly, anytime. Also, a quick side note, I recently came across a really cool AI theme t-shirt over at wilddragon.in. It's definitely worth checking out. Use our exclusive code AI study now at checkout to get 30% off. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. In this workflow, start by loading the checkpoint and select the appropriate model. Use the LTXV 13V 0.9.8 distilled model. For the clip model, we use the same. T5 double XL FP16 or FP8 that was used in the flux workflow. There is also another group called extend which allows you to extend the video by increasing the number of frames. If you want to generate a video longer than one minute, this uses an overlapping method that helps extend the video without causing distortion. Moving on, I have included two groups under Add Details. First, you can enhance your video using a LoRa model. Alternatively, if you prefer not to use LoRa, there is a tiled method to option to enhance the video without it. So here is a video I generated. You can view the side-by-side -side comparison and decide which version looks best. There is a difference in file size. With LoRa, it's 1536 by 1024 and without LoRa, it's 1280 by 852. So you are free to choose whichever option works best for you. Now, it's time to generate some examples and test this workflow. First, you have to upload an image. It must be 768 by 512 pixels. So I have uploaded an image of a car and wrote a detailed prompt based on my scene. I have used 721 frames. So here I have used 721 frames and set the FPS to 24. And my first attempt was to generate a 30 second video. So let me show you the result. 
So finally, we have the result here. And you can see the result isn't great. It's a bit blurry. But we can fix that by using upscaling. The main output we get is a smooth 30 second video without any glitches or distortions. So if you want to generate a 1 minute video, you need to use a different VAE decode node. Specifically, the VAE decode tiled. This allows you to generate a 1 minute video. However, there is one issue. The car appears stuck with no motion. However, I have another way to generate the video and extend it without any distortions by using the extend sampler. So in the first pass, instead of generating 720 frames, we generate a short clip of 97 frames. Then in the extend stage, we increase the number of frames you can try values like 341 or 120 and test the results. Now we have got the result. And you can see how smooth and high quality the output is. So once the output looks good, you can send it to the upscaler and add more details. You can choose between two options. Add details with LoRa or add details without LoRa. So here in this case, I have tried using LoRa, but I had decided to disable the other options. So you will notice that using LoRa significantly improves the level of details in the video. Okay. And upscale it to 1536 by 1024 adding details helps improve the shadows and overall result looks really good. <laughs> However, the grass and the trees doesn't look entirely realistic. But that's a minor issue compared to the overall quality. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this session, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.